Hey guys, this here is Getaway Driver 101, and today I'm going to be explaining exactly what locked settings is in No Man's Sky. Um, I am now playing on PC. I am now a PC player, now part of the PC gang, the PC team. So, uh, had to get something nice, you know. Um, anyways, I'm not going to get into any of that. There's a few short clips on my channel about it. Go check them out. So to... Anyways, the whole point in lock settings in No Man's Sky is so you can no longer change your settings. Uh, apparently, I was talking to a few players earlier that are on PC and they did not know that lock settings is locked. And they were telling me that they couldn't see it in their options. Well, I told them, I said, is it grayed out? And they were like, yeah, it's grayed out. There's a difficulty cannot be changed. I said that's because you locked it in your custom games. Now, for those that know how to, that have set up their custom games already, if it's locked, it's locked. There's nothing you can do about it. Continue playing, enjoy your game. It's up to you. If you decide to start over, if I quit back to modes, go to play, go to new, go to custom. You have it right down here at the very bottom. Difficulty settings cannot... Difficulty settings... Change. Lock. Once you lock it, you cannot change it. Now, if you leave it unlocked, and you boot up, and you load your game up, then you can go back in and change it. Which means I can go into this creative world, and turn it into a survival world, without no issues whatsoever. And, um, that is how the lock settings work. They work based around whether or not if you have selected the setting. If you have not selected the setting, you can change all of your settings unless you are in permadeath. Once you are in permadeath, you'll be locked out of all of the first settings, but you'll have every other setting afterwards to change. And that includes, um... I think the only survival elements that can be changed is hazard and health and full on permadeath. You're just scarce. Um, this here will have all three, so you'll be able to set your enemies to weak on permadeath, and they did make that a thing that you can set your enemies to weak. Um, on foot combat, I would suggest, regardless what, even if you don't want to play an aggressive permadeath mode, I would suggest these combat settings. And the, re the reason why is maybe this one here with predators on, keep that on original. The reason why is because if you set it to defensive, every planet you land on, the creatures are going to, you know, be kind of hostile. Passive? Well, they can be passive, but on permadeath, I believe it's either predators on or defensive. Um, so for permadeath, let's say it's predators on. So you can set these to either minimal or standard. I would recommend either one for permadeath, and enemies, if you can set them to weak, that's fine too, or set them to standard. Um, other than that, for permadeath, locked settings, once it is locked, you cannot change your settings. So if there's something that you do not like about your permadeath, well, you cannot change it. Now, for your standard game play, like normal mode, creative, relax, survival, whatnot, once you lock it, I would recommend locking your modes because then it gives you more of a reason to start a new save and a new mode. Once you have more of a reason to start a new save and a new mode, you're good to go to keep playing the game. The problem is I see all these people that try to play a creative mode and then boot into a survival mode. And that's fine, but after a while it starts to ruin the game. Because you're not playing the story, you're not playing the game, you're not physically exploring, you're not experiencing the game, you're just experiencing building the features. Which is nice for building and features, but I recommend that if you want to experience the game, I would, be, I would be locking your settings. So it gives you more of a reason to go out of your base and kind of scout around. Even if it's small amounts of scouting it still gets you out of your base location. Thanks for watching, like or subscribe, and I hope you all enjoy. Thanks for watching.